Alright guys, seems like forever since I've been out. I'm back down on the River Y. I fished this swim at the start of the season. It was quite tricky. I think I had one barbel, one chub. But we're back here now. Let's get some bait in the water and let's see what happens. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is introduce some uh, ground bait. Um, I'm just going to slingshot a load of 6 mil pellets in uh, with a few other things. It's looking good. The water's looking great. Let's see what happens. Alright folks, so I've just set everything up. I'm using a GTHD mainline, two Corum barbel rods, Corum tripod. I'm using a braid by Drennan, uh, it's 12 pound. I'm fishing small pellets to start. I've chucked quite a few out with a slingshot. There's a salmon over there. Um, so yeah, we're ready to go. I'm just gonna cast out one upstream, one towards the middle, maybe slightly down. Uh, yeah, the sun's dropped down. It's looking good. It's looking good. Um, it's, it's a quick session, but let's see if we can get some fish. Perfect. So they've uh, dropped down into position. I got that one spot on. That one's a little bit too far out, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, let's see. So I've been here about half an hour, um, only a few bumps, a couple of line knocks, I'm hoping it'll pick up a bit, it usually does, like I said earlier I fished this swim before but I fished it near the start of the season, I caught one barbel, lost one, caught a chub, lost that, it was okay, it wasn't a bad session, um, but like I said then, which is in one of my previous videos, when it starts to approach the end of the summer and that autumn period, this peg I find fishes a bit better. Uh, I've had uh, lots of success on the other swims uh, up and down the, the river um, so I thought I'd come back to this one and give this one a go uh, but we're gonna fish until the light is gone and then we'll shoot off but obviously there's no night fishing so yeah I'll just make the most of whatever light is left and then shoot off but uh, yeah, let's get a cast out there and let's see what happens. So we're heading into the final stages of the session. Probably got about half an hour left of light. And then we're probably gonna have to pack it in. I had one big pull on the left rod earlier. And it's just getting to that stage now where this peg, given its reputation, certainly in my case, it should start fishing pretty good. So we'll see, we'll see. As it is, there's a blank on the cards, but it's not over till it's over, so. Oh. 
fucking he pulled the bloody stand over. Oh, he's off. <laughs> Right, we've still got a bit of light left. See that barbel, he nearly took the whole stand into the river. We've got to be so switched on. Um, I've just cast these two rods out now. This will probably be the final cast. Uh, I'm going to pay attention this time. Well, there we are. The persistence paid off. Um, hell of a fight. The right rod just took off. And yeah, I'm going to go on with the right smile on my face now. Oh, there we are. Jeez. Oh, God, it was taking me through the weeds. I could feel all the uh, the rocks and stuff. But yeah, what a fish. Right. Beautiful fish. Bloody awesome. And a lovely, lovely size. Look. Look at that body on that. Solid river white muscle. Come on, in, mate. Let's go. Oh, yes. That's what it's all about. Off it goes. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I'm well happy with that session. Second biggest fish of the season. Um, it went back really well. I honestly thought I'd catch more barbel today, but I'm very grateful to have caught that one. Um, I caught him on a 14 mil lamprey and smoked herring pellet and I was just gradually introducing ground feed as I went along but not too much uh, so yeah I'm well happy with that like I said the fish fought really hard great condition and the river's looking awesome as well and the whole system is looking awesome if I'm honest with you all this rain like I've said in previous videos has just done the world of good uh, but yeah let's get the stuff in the car um, but before we do that, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. Um, if you could click the button down there below the video, that would be great. And I'll, um, I'll catch you on the bank next time. Take care, guys, and tight lines as well. <laughs>